What's going on, guys? This is Eric Johnson. I'm with RBM, and this is Affliction 50. This is our Brazil Supercard. Episode 42 of the Affliction series. Yeah. And for our Brazil Supercard, we decided to go all out with six fights. That's right. And our prelims that we, ain't we will watch. skip. Yeah. Although Dan Lowe's on versus Frankie Edgar, I am a little interested in. Okay. But we can just skip right to the end. I just want to see right away if they win. All right. All right, here we go. Blur Cats pre-show analysis of Affliction 50. Being held in Brazil will be the seventh Affliction show. We have six main fights, ten preliminary bout bouts. You already know that. Uh, the main event is Anderson Silva and Thales Latis. Silva's 2-0 and so far in Affliction. Thales Latis is 6-3, and so he has more than earned his right to go back for the title after a couple of years. Yep. Um, we also see Takanori Gomi and Dong Hoon Kim. And then we see Yuki Kondo versus Bandele Silva in a sequel to their pride bout they had years ago. It's been about a good nine years. Mm-hmm. Back then, Silva won via knockout in the first round. Will that change today? Hinato Sobral fights for the first time since UFC 164 in January 2012. So it's been a good bet for him, a year and four months. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, oh, my God. Steve is back. Steve's but, back, yep. But you know what? They had him go first, so... And he went with Anderson Silva. And he's like, you know, Anderson Silva hasn't lost in quite a bit yeah. of time. And then yeah. he gets the majority. He gets the majority goes with them, and now he's crying, so he's a bit upset. So, so one like equals one prayer for Steve. Hopefully, he can get better. Yeah. Oh, of course, Steve goes with the pack as usual. Steve goes with the pack, as usual. Uh, Dan's the lone man. I swear Dan's always the lone man who picks the guy that everyone goes hey. against sometimes. Hey, Dan's the yellow guy. He says, fuck it. He just says, fuck it. Yeah, he's the opposite. He said, I'll yeah. be that lone guy. And when that Kendall, when Kendall, when Kendall Grove wins, I'm going to say, I told you so. Son of he, he does it. He does it to spite Steve. Yeah. There we go, Steve. Oh, oh see, Steve was the last one this time. Yeah, but Mark three. wanted Mark want, no Mark wanted to be a dick, so he was really he was really really uh you know just waiting it out, making Steve beg and cry. Then he went with Steve. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Yep, Steve with the majority again. Asshole. I'm gonna go with Bondale Silva. <laughs> well, this time Dan was like, I got to go with my boy Silva. And then right. everyone picked uh, Tony Ferguson to beat Jeremy Lil Heathen Stevens. Um, All right. Off camera, Lil Heathen and El Kukui have been talking shit. Mad shit. Every damn day on social media, we're getting stopped to see what the hell they've been saying next. Mm-hmm. We, don't, we don't know specifically, but it just says a social media war every five seconds between. Them. I hate rumor says that Lil Heathen Stevens said it. I said uh, Tony Ferguson's mother's a whore. <laughs> Maybe. Never know. Let's yeah, see we what can happens. just skip to the end. And Dan, oh, d Lau. d Lau beats Frankie Edgar by unanimous decision. So, j Lau, no, uh, no doubt in his corner. Pretty interesting. A big win, big win for d Lau. Gives a show of respect to Frankie Edgar. That's a huge win for d Lau. And yep. here we go with the first main card fight of the evening between Tony Ferguson and Jeremy Stevens. Uh, I am really rooting on Jeremy Little Heathen Stevens here. Yeah. But we'll see. Let's see if Tony Ferguson get his career back on track. Oh, Stevens right head kick. Wait a minute. Wait Stevens a minute. Stevens looks with like he's kick? punch drunk. Stung by that kick. Moving in for the kill, it's Rock Steven again. Oh, wait a minute. Tony Ferguson wins in a minute and 
It's not even a minute. 54 seconds by TKO. Yep. He was he was out on his feet, apparently, and the ref got it right in there before any more, dr- any more damage could be done. Uh, that was quite interesting. A win by TKO from t- Tony Ferguson for his 10th career victory. And he wants to fight Matt Veach. Hmm. Oh, well, okay then. I guess. Uh, the Axe Murder up next, fighting y- Yuki Kondo. They touch gloves. Vandalay, we have the two Silvas in the building tonight. One fighting Yuki Kondo in a rematch from nine years ago. So we're connecting with his jazz, but his big rights follow-ups don't seem to be landing. Nope, not at all. Just saying, fuck you. Oh, here oh we go. Kondo, Kondo backs here we off. Go. Cage is the only reason he's upright, and Kondo blocks a knee. Let's see Silva. if... Uh, what's that? No, no, Silva looking. Ah, uh, never mind. Moments passed. A crunching right hook. Silva's just lighting him up. Yeah, but he may, he has to make sure he doesn't burn himself out. That's just kind of with another crunching right hook. Vandalay hey, Silva's trying. Is looking for his fortieth win of his career. Yeah, hey, they don't call him the axe murder for nothing. That's this is probably why he's going off on Kondo. Question is, could we be seeing a little bit of a cage rush from Kondo? He hasn't fought in a little bit. And Silva, he's fought more recently. In a losing effort, but still fought more recently. I still haven't seen what the hell this Kempo is about. I never heard of Kempo, but it doesn't look too good against Muay Thai. Tell you that. There you go. Here's some Kempo. That's it. That's all the Kempo we saw. (laughs) He shoves Silva. He just shoved him. 10-8, oh, yeah. Oh, my God, a 10-8? Jesus Christ. I mean, he, he, made him pretty, he, he got him pretty bad and then gave him some more big hands. Lovely right Lovely hand right kick in there. It is. There we go. Oh, right, right hand, hand to the, the jaw. jaw. And he's trying to avoid the punches, and it's just not going to work. Diego Amada has to get out in there. Vanderlei Silva wins by TKO in the back second on, round. And back the to crowd his winning ways. in Brazil goes bananas. Back to his winning ways in, in, the, in his home country. He wants to fight Josh Rafferty. Vanderlei Silva, a charismatic talker, when? Uh, according to this game. In this can, he even, can he even talk? That's the real question. I mean, he's taken so many headshots, you would think no. I mean, he can't talk, period. He just goes, oh. Antonio Mendez versus Renato Han- Sobral. Two Brazilians. Yep. Oh, Sobral going in for a takedown. He gets it. One from Fortaleza, Brazil, and the other one from Rio de Janeiro. So we're all looking for a arm submission. Mendez blocks it. So for all the, the slight favor coming into this fight, looking to use that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, where he learned surprisingly in Texas. Surprisingly. Mm-hmm. And that's the end of the first round. Ten numbers as well. Sobral goes in for another takedown. And he got him in half guard. You know, these guys are just slight. Uh, one slightly over the other one. In this case, Sobral over Mendez. And Mendez does not know what the fuck to do against these takedowns. 
Uh, I see this one going distance. Here we go. And another takedown. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do. I guess he's going to just have to get lucky and hit him as he comes in. It's kind of ironic, right? Because in, uh, oh, here we go. Gita. The brawl goes for a geek, but Mendez stops it. Um, what was I going to say? Usually BJJ, they like fighting on their back more than being on top, but I don't know. A right, hand, a right roundhouse kick the body that lands hard. So Brawl comes in for a takedown that might have hurt him. Lancing elbow strike. There we go. Triangle choke. Nope. Mendez is doing a hell of a good job getting out of this shit. If only he could actually do something. Yeah. Sober all just owned his ass. A shoulder smash from Mendez. Oh, Mendez took the round. Yeah. Uh, he, hit, he hit him a few times coming in. 29 28, so bro. 29 28. Oh my god, Mendes. no way. Mendez won. Oh my what? god. What the Split fuck? Split decision. I don't know where they got that from. I guess he hit him. Oh, it's, oh my god. It's those puppy strikes he was hitting on the ground. They counted those. Interesting. So he ended up winning know. this fight on his back. That is impressive. There's definitely a rematch to come. No doubt about uh, it. A rematch on the prelims. This might be a rematch on the main card, man. This is, they got some pretty nice... He wants to fight Quentin Rampage Jackson. <laughs> Fucking hell no. Uh, hey, I mean... If it's a fight he wants, it's a fight he'll get, I guess. He wants Rampage. That is quite interesting. All right, and if, and if you thought the last one had a lot of wrestling, oh boy. And now we got the Spider, Kendall Grove versus the Eagle. A middleweight tournament fight? Yep, and the guy I hate the fucking most, Habib Nurmagomedov. I'm so glad he's retired. He'll be giving up some weight for this. He's going to have to rely on his Sambo to keep control. That's right. His maximum fighting <laughs> weight is 174. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no, it's not. He can go up to 185. It's just... He walks around at 174. I guess he figured, you know what? I'm comfortable at this weight. I don't need to gain anything, you know? It's kind of I interesting know, how he didn't go all the way up to the 185 that he want, that he should have went to. Yeah. I'm going to keep keeping, keeping Grove up against the cage yet again. Shoots in for the takedown. Great sprawl from Grove. Oh, wait a minute. Nermagomedov's on his back. Stands up. And that's it. Nermagomedov, they say, takes the round. No Megamedo kept control. No doubt that's what led to that decision. Megamedo quickly shoots in on Grove. Completes the takedown. Sambo coming in handy. Grove is on his back. Megamedo is going to get past guard, but he gets to half guard. Kendall Grove's doing very excellent with his BJJ, only allowing very little. But this, but this is just going to increase the ground control time for Habib, so this may not be very beneficial for Grove to just wait and see what happens. Ramon Gramadov also the 10-9. 
see what happens. Grove either has to catch Nurmagomedov as he comes in for a takedown. There he goes, suplex. And he got the suplex. Man, a big suplex. He gets past half guard, I believe. Grove trying to get back up. And he's wrestled to the cage. Muay Thai clinch. This is not going to be good. This is not good. Knee into the chest. But Grove able to get free right afterwards, but that must be, but that oh. must sting. It's a knee to the ribs, but not a lot of power. Wait a minute. Wrestling no, for no, position. No Control of a clinch again. Pushes him up against the cage. Let's see what happens next. Muay Thai clinch again. Oh, man. He's just trying to knock him out. Grove manages oh, to get free after blocking one. Great sprawl. And that's it. Uh, Nurmagomedov may have definitely won this by hugging his opponent the whole time. He, he and Muay Thai. Don't forget that. Yeah. And, and he moves, moves to, to the, the second round. He goes to the quarterfinals. Yeah, that was an average fight. Yeah. He won Zach Trammell. Saying he will kick well, his ass. <laughs> well, you're going to have to wait, buddy. Wow. You see, he, he will kick his ass, he says. Maybe maybe hug it instead. That's what anyway, I was thinking. The, the stun the gun. The stun gun versus the fireball kid is up next. The co-main event of the evening. Wrestling versus judo, grappler versus grappler. We are underway. Yeah. Takanori Gomi. On and one reflection. I believe coming off Dong of a Yoon loss. Kim's debut. Takanori Gomi, his first fight was against Stephen Thompson, where he got crushed, I believe. Yep. Question is, will he meet Stephen Thompson again in this tournament? As we know, Stephen Thompson is also in this tournament. Very true. A stinging right hand oh. kick. And Pusek. Oh, a flying knee. Kim's moving in quickly. And oh my god. The underdog wins. Massive underdog with 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 some highlight flying knees. No doubt, could. And just like that, one of the favorites is taken out of the middleweight tournament Grand Prix. This is a welterweight fight. But... Oh, welterweight. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But just like that, it looks like. Looks like the stun gun may be making a name for himself in the welterweight division. Yeah, well, what an impressive debut, honestly, from Dong Hyun Kim. Man, I did not expect that at all. I was expecting Gomi to make work of him, but uh, let's see we, what let's see what he has to say. I mean, we got the opposite. <laughs> uh, he says he wants Chris Wilson in his next fight. Mm. Um, cannot wait to see well, the rankings for Dong Hyun Kim. That's for sure. Well, after and a performance like that, I think uh, I think we may be obliged to give him what he wants. That's what I'm thinking, man. That flying knee really uh, did some stuff to go me. And here we go. The moment we've been waiting for Anderson Silva and Thales Latest. Looking to make defense number two of his title. Thales Latest, the, the the slight favorite coming into this fight. Number one, the number one of the division versus the number two. Both Brazilians. How convenient. This is in Brazil. Aging in the center. Latest hits a left hook to the body of Silva. Anderson Silva, to be exact. Sort of a feeling out so, process we fail, see. Fails latest is uh, counter punching Anderson Silva pretty well here. 
Latus is not intimidated. Scores with two counter jabs. Jab, jab is wide from Vale's latest, but scores with the right cross. Head kicks off target. One minute left. Nothing happens. There we go. Block from Anderson. Very even right now. Yep. A feeling out process, I believe. That's what it's looking like. I think that's going to be it here, yep. I think Thales latest won that first round, yep. That's what the narrator says. I'm definitely giving that 10-9 the latest. Yep. Um, Silva so taking the initiative. There we go. Silva so takedown attempt. He got it. He has to pull full guard. Wait a minute. Latest grabbed the guillotine. And that's it. Scramble begins. Oh, wait a minute. Darsh choke from Latus. Latus loses but no. grip. It's another scramble. And Latus drives him up against the cage. Ooh, knee to the thigh. Elbow strike. And from that elbow, there's a gash underneath the eye of Silva. Thankfully, it's not over the eye. Or else that blood might be going into his eye. It's underneath the eye. Mm -hmm. that, that's why I said thankfully it wasn't on the brow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silva so missing the head kick. Oh, no. Okay, good. I was, about to, I was about to say, dude, if the title but, changed hands on a cut, I was going to get real pissed. I believe those Brazilian fans are not going to let that happen either. Mm -hmm. Silva apparently took that round. I'm about to give it to Latus again. So for me, it's 2018 Latus. Uh, Although, if you were the cut man, the most important thing would be closing that cut and making sure it's not as big of a target for Latus. Yeah. Oh, has a right hook blocked. In terms of score, it has to be 2018 Latus right now. Well, he's starting to slow down. Yep. Here. <clears throat> Two combatants meet in the center and start to strike. Glancing blow with a high kick. Silva lands a leg kick. Lays with a left hand. So far, nothing. Silva counters with a solid right. He's already looking tired. Silva, the 38-year-old maybe had a bad weight cut. Yeah, he sure did. Ooh, Silva's looking ragged out there. But he still decides to press forward. Silva too tired to fight off uh, latest pitting him against the cage. And Silva's on the mat. And rear naked choke. Nope. But no. And that's it. Uh, it's definitely um, uh, 30 27 right now. For me. I have it as 29 28. Bastard. So the right hook misses. Right now they're in the stand-up game. Uh, right now I think we got a new champion. But latest, latest uh, starting to get tired though. Yeah. Both fighters are spent, so it's up to. So really, it's come down to who wants it more. Yeah, I don't think that really matters though. 
takes a hard foot stomp. Another hard foot stomp. I think Silva's just too tired to, to fight back at this point. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, my goodness. Oh, referee restarts him back in the center. And partially defends it. Silva has to go up against the cage. Way is looking for that takedown now. Blocks it by grabbing the cage. Oh, my goodness. He cheated. He grabs the cage again. Oh, he didn't see it that time. What the fuck is this? What a cheater. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you, Silva. Probably in Portuguese right now. Fuck you, Silva. He just went from the fan favorite in this fight to fuck you, Silva. <laughs> Silva really needs to get a finish in the team once any yeah. chance at retaining. Silva is not loving this right now. Yep. Oh, here we go. Because of the uh, the leg kicks, um, Thales' latest leg is hurting real bad. Grabbing the cage again, out of desperation. The cage again. Oh, he took a point off. <laughs> oh, man. He, he, Silva had got a point taking off, taken off. Oh, dude, this is not looking good for him. Scramble. Silva lost in the scramble, anyhow. Ladies, you may want to be careful for that for that uh, triangle choke that Silva's known for. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, he got side control, and here goes an arm bar. Silva stopped it. Under a minute to go. Here we go, the mount. He cannot get the mount. Yes. And we, have, we, and we go to the decision. I think we have a new champion. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, I've still got points deducted off, dude. I don't think there's any way he's winning. Yeah. We'll see. Yep, he deducted a point from Silva in the round. He's screwed. All three Ooh. judges scored a 48-46. You can take a guess. Take your guesses right now in the comments. Imagine if it's Silva retains. Uh, I'm picking Thales' latest. He's the new champ. Now imagine if Thales' latest was on drugs. Thales' latest is the winner by unanimous decision. And he is the new middleweight champion of the world. Now, is Thales' latest in the tournament? He might be. We'll have and, to check. Uh, I was rated as a good fight. Good, I was worried. And he is going to, he intends, he's going to have a very long title reign. Got a critical Six. rating of 68%. Yeah. 10 million pay-per-view buys. $10 million in pay-per-view buys. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Every fight was good for the most part, except for the average one. All right. Now time to... 96% commercial rating. Everywhere increased, except for Africa. We'll have to make sure to get some pay-per-view coverage down there at some point. Vanderlei Silva gets the knockout of the night. Dong yep. Hyun Kim gets the fight of the night. And a lot of great fights in the prelims, of course. And submission of the night goes to Brittany Poland in the... Wow. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. Nine million dollars in revenue overall. Yep. There you go. Look at that. We Anderson Silva got one point eight million dollars just to lose. <laughs> yeah. 
Interesting. I can guarantee we would not have gotten half the pay-per-view buys that we would have gotten if Anderson Silva was not on this card. Yeah, I, I would say. So what will that do? We will go to the so rankings. how will this how will this change the 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 the, the, the tournament? I don't know. Is Thales late? Yet yeah, Thales Lays will be defend making his first defense against Caleb Starnes. Yep, yeah, that's what it's looking like. Now, time to look at this. Nothing there. Jan Blahovich moved up to 19. Yep. That's about it for that. Thales Lay, this is the new champ. I believe that uh, number three. Uh, that is quite interesting. <laughs> Quite interesting indeed. After a dominant performance. His first win in the middleweight division seals it right there. Where's Kendall Grove? Did he get knocked he out of the top four. 25? He's, he's number four, so that's why he... Ah, interesting. Let's see. Koscheck and Baroni. That's looking like my next fight there. Looking like for the interim welterweight title. Yep. Oh, lightweight. Azevedo is now nine. Delau moved up from 14 to 12. Where's the other Lau? Uh, suspended. What? Remember? Where? Where? Uh, his name's Joe. Drug suspension. What? I forgot about that. What the fuck did he do? He's probably smoked weed. I think he smoked weed. PED. PED. Oh. What an asshole. Wow, man. That's a little fucked. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Yeah. That's some fuck. Yep. Anything in the women's? Uh, Brittany Pollen moves up. Tammy Hurst moves up. Out oh, here. And Janice Hui debuts at number nine. There you go. All right. It's looking like it's Tyra Parker and Chisa Yonazawa. Yonazawa. Where the hell's the champion here? Uh, they can. Remember, we fired Gina Carano? Because oh, yeah, she, she wouldn't, wouldn't defend it. Yeah, wouldn't fucking fight anybody. Like an asshole. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, Wada Ferry will have to fight Sarah Schneider. When is she ready? Probably never. One day. Oh. She's about to be a low level national. Yep. She's already a low level national. In Japan, that's funny. Uh, let's see. So now with affliction fifty. Let's see. Compared to this one, of course, that made a couple more million. Because it had Quentin Jackson on it. Yep. Fedor only drew us six million. That that blows. Well, to be fair, Frank Mir didn't help with the, help with any of that either. Yeah. But Kane, I know Kane Velasquez will uh, help us draw for sure. Oh yes. Uh yeah. Him and Fedor is gonna be a fun fight to watch. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Shane Carwin. I'm trying to figure out who he, we could probably put up against. Sh- uh, Shane Carwin versus T- Todd Duffy. That would be a slugfest. I was thinking Ben Rothwell. 
But yeah, yeah, Shane Shane Carwin and Todd Duffy would be a blast. Yep. So that'll do it for this episode. Can you imagine that? Hold on. What's the most prestigious title? I forget. 95% so far. The tie between Connor and Steven. Ooh. I was thinking we have the dream fight. My boy versus your boy for the unification. If Connor can make another defense, he can. If Connor can make another defense, sure. God, that'd be so much fun. And Connor will go after the welterweight belt. The double trap does what the fuck he wants. We're gonna have that happen again, huh? Mm-hmm. Right around the same time. But uh, nonetheless, thank you for uh, joining us in another half-hour episode. of WMMA 5, Affliction. We'll see you Uh, next time for episode 43. We love love you. That's right. Also, check out uh, my series coming up with uh, AZ Palayo. Is that how you say that? Yes. Hopefully he doesn't see the end of this video. Um, I I, I really have a hard time pronouncing that. But I'm sure it's Palayo. uh, Yeah, it's Palayo. we, we, We will be doing Ryzen. So stay Film, tuned for that. Filming begins tomorrow. Yep. So hey, well, time. today. Today, a- technically. As of Thursday. Yes. So, All right. see you then.